subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Be it dinosaurs, dragonflies or even humans, physical aspects of different species respond to changes in the global climate. Such stories seem to have dominated the scientific world this week and that is what we talk about on this episode of Scientific. This is Mohana Basu and every week on the Print Scientific I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. Now before I dive into the stories of evolution let me first talk about a new flexible form of ice that has been created by scientists. For the first time scientists have managed to create a new form of ice that is elastic and bends just like a wire without breaking. An advance that may help improve our understanding of the physics behind tiny ice structures. To create the flexible ice, researchers from China used a needle and applied an electric voltage to it inside a chilled chamber. This attracted water vapor and resulted in the formation of icy strands that were a few micrometers in diameter, which is a fraction of the width of human hair. Defects in ice such as tiny cracks or pores is what makes it brittle. But the methods used by the Chinese scientists resulted in ice threads of near perfect ice crystals. As a result, the ice could be curved into a partial circle and it would spring back to its original shape when the force was released. For now, the advance will allow scientists to study the properties of microfibers of ice which in future could pave way for new technologies. Also this week scientists have found that male dragonflies are evolving to become less shiny and colorful in hotter climates a development that could impact how the species breed as researchers say that this change could soon make it difficult for female dragonflies to identify males of their own species Many dragonflies have patches of dark black pigmentation on their wings that they use to court potential mates and intimidate rivals. However, having a lot of dark pigmentation on the wings can heat dragonflies up by as much as 2 degrees Celsius. The researchers wanted to understand whether this additional heating might force dragonflies to evolve different amounts of wing pigmentation in different climates. The team created a database of 319 dragonfly species using field guides and citizen scientist observations. They gathered information about the climate variables in the locations where the dragonflies were observed. The team found that male dragonflies nearly always responded to warmer temperatures by evolving less wing pigmentation. They also found that male dragonflies spotted in warmer years tended to have less wing pigmentation than those in cooler years. Now one of the implications of this research is that females may no longer recognize males of their own species. This could cause them to mate with males of the wrong species. Climate does not just affect dragonflies. Researchers who gathered measurements of body and brain sizes for over 300 fossils from ancient humans found across the globe have found that the average body size of humans has fluctuated significantly over the last million years with larger bodies evolving in colder regions. Larger size is thought to act as a buffer against colder temperatures because less heat is lost from the body when its mass is large relative to its surface area our species which is homo sapiens emerged around 300000 years ago in africa the genus homo which includes neanderthals and homo erectus has existed for much longer a defining trait of the evolution of our genus is a trend of increasing body and brain size compared to earlier species such as homo habilis we are 50% heavier and our brains are 3 times larger but the drivers behind such changes remain highly debated the new study indicates that climate particularly temperature has been the main driver of changes in body size for the past million years the researchers also looked at the effect of environmental factors on brain size but they found that brain size tended to be larger when people needed to carry out more complex tasks 
such as hunting to survive. The team said that the human body and brain size continues to evolve. The human physique is still adapting to different temperatures with on average larger bodied people living in colder climates today. Brain size in our species appears to have been shrinking since around 11,650 years ago. The increasing dependence on technology such as an outsourcing of complex tasks to computers may cause brains to shrink even more over the next thousand years. Also this week, paleontologists have found that a group of dinosaurs known as alvarosaurs quickly shrank from ostrich-sized predators the size of a chicken in order to adapt to the changing conditions of the time. Alvarosaurs belong to a diverse group of two-legged dinosaurs with hollow bones and three-toed limbs known as theropods. Theropods also include the T-Rex and Velociraptor. There are 21 confirmed species of alvarosaurs dating from around 160 million years to around 66 million years ago. Paleontologists have now found that the fossils of these dinosaurs massively decreased in size between 110 million and 85 million years ago. Before this, alvarosaurs weighed between 10 and 70 kilograms, but they quickly slimmed down to under 5 kilos. One of the species shrank to just about 150 grams. There was threefold decrease in the average body size of alvarosaurs in the period of about 25 million years, which is considered a quick jump in the evolutionary time period. Shrinking sizes were very unusual for this time period. Dinosaurs during this time were actually getting much bigger. The researchers suspect that a significant shift in the global ecosystems during this period may have been behind the a dinosaurs change in size. Around the same time that these dinosaurs started shrinking, the earth was experiencing a massive increase in the diversity and abundance of flowering plants. The increase in the plant species would have led to insects like ants, termites and bees to flourish. To take advantage of this new food, these dinosaurs may have shrunk. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to the print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.